Welcome back to Bloom. There is a lot of research that shows that farm to fork eating is much healthier for you. Joining me now to discuss going back to the farm are Dr. Lana Garner and Dr. Leah Tickle Taylor from Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box. It is so great to see you both. Good to see you. Thank you. So you and I, we've all talked about this over the years, the three of us, about how you do like to go back in time when it comes to medicine because that's when doctors really knew their patients, everything about them, and there is this holistic care. It's absolutely in our practice. We have to teach patients how to eat because in our culture today, there's industrial farming, and with this industrial food, we're lacking nourishment, all the chemicals that are added. You can't just go to the grocery and pick it up. You literally, what we try to teach our patients is to mimic being on a farm 200 years ago, eating what is in season when it is in season. Yeah, that is so important because, you know, like a, a, a tomato 200 years ago on a farm is not the same tomato that we're eating today. 100%. The nutrients, like I said, are lacking but then add the complexity of processed food. It is being designed to be hyper palatable and to keep us all addicted to it. The average American eats 60% of their diet as processed food and not whole food. Yeah, I, I will say on a personal level, knowing doctors like you that don't just treat the symptom, but treat the problem at the root cause, it's really critical. So you work and teach your patients how to eat like this. Absolutely. Uh, patients have to be informed consumers when they go to a supermarket. They have to become label readers and start asking questions. For produce, you want to know where was this grown? How far did it have to travel to get to this supermarket? Was it picked ripe or was it gassed along the way to make it look ripe? Uh, these are all questions you need to ask at the supermarket and read the labels. If you're shopping for animal product, you need to know what was this animal fed because whatever that animal was fed, you're going to eat. Yeah. And you need to know if it was antibiotics, if it was hormones, what was it? Was it, treated, was it treated humanely? Was the slaughter conducted humanely? These are all the things that people need to start asking. And, and let's talk about um, supplements because I know, you know there's a lot out there, but you really go through a lot to source the right ones and to help your patients know exactly what they need. That's right, Gail. We feel that pretty much supplementation is necessary now in this country. And there are two broad categories of dietary supplements. One is nutraceutical. One, that's like beta carotene. It was extracted in a lab. It's a chemical and a high milligrams that you can purchase over the counter. That's a nutraceutical. A whole food, which is what we prefer, would be the beta carotene compressed as a carrot with all the minerals, the vitamins, and the trace elements that go with the carrot and tell your body how to process and absorb that nutrition. Unfortunately, we feel that supplementation is really required. Yeah, it's sad that this is where we've come in this world of all the tampering of our foods, especially in this country. But great to know that we have dogs outside the box to guide us in the right direction and make sure we're getting the right supplements and not wasting our money and giving our bodies what That's they right. need. Yes, Thank, right. you, Thank you, doctors, so much. We always love it when you're on Bloom. Thanks, Thank you. Gail. All right, Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box are located in St. Petersburg. For more information, call 727-498-8898 or visit online at docsoutsidethebox.us. We'll be back with more Bloom right after this. The preceding portion of Bloom was sponsored by Docs Outside the Box and Kids Outside the Box.